Hi, I'm Kirsty Bryan. I'm here with Webster Young, a composer and also an opera director. Webster, thanks so much for being here. It's a pleasure. <laughs> There's a lot of instrumental uh, stuff that is going on in Orpheus. There's a lute or something that you'd like to introduce us to. There's yes, this is uh, a unique thing. Um, it's Actually, I'll put it, this is the way it would be held by someone playing it. And um, Now, how old is this instrument? This is uh, bef just around 1900. Okay. It's by a, a German violin maker who designed this. It's a, actually a guitar lute. These strings vibrate without being plucked. They vibrate sympathetically. There's a minimal keyboard up here, which shows that it's really meant for just playing a few chords and accompanying singing. Okay. So I won't sing for you, uh, but <laughs> it's really meant just to have just minor chords. I mean, I don't mean minor chords, I mean uh, simple chords mm -hmm. to be played up here and then strummed here like that. Um, but I got this as a prop um, for Orpheus because to me it looks like some sort of modern idea of Orpheus's lyre, and so I got this for the, for our singer Tony Kim in the concert to to play, mm -hmm. or not to pretend he's playing, and uh, it arrived a day late, <laughs> so we never. Oh. We never got it into the concert. <laughs> but actually, I keep it as a souvenir because to me, this is the lyre of Orpheus. It is. And what, what, is, what is the lyre of Orpheus? Just the. Well, originally, the lyre was in, a, uh, in all paintings. There are many paintings of Orpheus and different parts of the story. And they usually show him with the classic idea of a lyre, which was more like a. a, a uh, horns with strings and a, and a resonator at the bottom. But actually, the original Greek lyre was an X pattern with a gourd and strings coming across mm -hmm. the X down to the gourd. But this is more like a, um, I think the inspiration for this was Biedermeier or some kind of German movement. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, to me, it's just a very poetic idea of what Orpheus's lyre might look like. Why in particular Orpheus? Um, why, why did you? I've wanted to write an Orpheus ever since I was in music school. And you've kept coming back to that I kept, piece. I kept rewriting the libretto. Finally, after three or four tries, found a form that I liked. And uh, I, I'm happy with it now. And I have presented arias from Orpheus in New York with uh, special guests. Uh, so we did an opera concert, and we had Chia Toscanini, the great granddaughter of Toscanini, as our special guest, as well as Elaine Malbin, a wonderful soprano from the NBC TV era of opera. And she actually sang under Toscanini. And she was in the original Kismet and uh, sang with the New York City Opera. She was also one of our special guests. <laughs> 